have cracked it. I am currently now using a I told you it wasn't a test and I wasn't joking, folks. This is actually going to be a stream. I'm going to do some gaming. I'm going to be an idiot. I'm going to be myself. So, yeah, hang by. Watch what's going on. And, uh, yeah, enjoy the show because uh, today it is actually going to be a show. Now, I'm going to put this out to absolutely any streamer. And I've said it in the last couple of videos. If you are using the new multi-stream uh, show, and I'm very sorry that I don't have the stream starting soon, I accidentally deleted it, so I've got to remake it. So, um, yeah, so for now, you've just got to simply put up with this, and um, I'm just going to turn off, where is that one, media source, I've already turned off the media source off. Um, so, yeah. Um, I don't have the original screen, but this is my old <laughs> intro one, so we're starting with that. But naturally, we cannot start a stream without advertising. We don't get paid otherwise. ZS.com. Uh, yeah, yeah, what, what is, is ZS.com? ZS. Sorry about that, folks. I've made a mistake. I've read the part wrong part of this. <laughs> 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 I told you I was entertaining, didn't I? All right, though. So now the advertising is underway, and we've done that. Let's get on with the show. And I'm, oh, I can't get on with the show yet. I've forgot something. <laughs> Hang on, we'll go to... Um, there, we'll use the intermission screen until I get the other one up. Um, so, yeah, folks, it's a um, simple matter of... Uh, yeah, don't forget to turn your VPN off, folks, really. If you're streaming and using OBS, multiple streaming plugin, which is actually really working, and I'm going to show you all that today. So I've just got to um, just an adjust one thing up here. Uh, we don't want it on the art slides. We want it on a different monitor this time. Uh, no. Uh, one. Yeah, no, it's sort of um, basically, yeah, what, whatever you can say, um, yeah, if you turn that on and try and multi-stream, you'll spend two days like I did trying to solve the bloody problem and all it was that I've got then of the bloody VPN. I was streaming a multi-stream signal, like my bandwidth, right, is pretty big. It's like 35,000. It's the max I can get. And it's the max anybody can get here in Australia. So I pay the most money for it because I am a streamer and I want a good quality stream. And I knew, always knew that I was going to try and do this, but there was I couldn't find the software up until recently. So, oh, and by the way, all the artworks that you're currently seeing while I'm trying to find that monitor, yeah, is, um, yeah, it's, um, oh, I can't find it, I'm really sorry about that, I cannot find it. Alright, so, um, oh, there you go, the art screen. So those are upcoming t-shirt artworks. That will soon, well actually, uh, one of them is already available in the merch store, merch store number two. I haven't put it in my other merch stores yet. I really do apologise for that. I haven't had time. I've been trying to solve a simple problem. All because I forgot to shut off a VPN. And it caused me two days of headaches. 
and cause you guys not to get my stream. So yeah, it's um, and now I'm just trying to solve the other bloody problem, get the game up and running so I can play the game. So every single one of these artworks you are currently seeing, folks, have been created digitally, but some uh, actually came from a Maya construction first into a painting program called Photoshop. I'd make the shape because you can make a bit more accurate 3D using 3D software. Um, it's a combination of everything. And the skins are painted by hand in Photoshop on a little pattern that I, I got off the thing and painted them and then pasted it on to the thing. You can tell the skins are hand painted. Even though they're hand painted, they were created on a Huon. And I'm going to link all these after that. This was, they were created on a Huon touchscreen monitor where I can write, I can see everything. It's as if it's an art canvas and the, the little pen is my brush. So, yeah, it's um, the best I could do with it. And I'm just going to turn that music down a little bit. But, yeah, it's... Um, what I am, who I am, I'm a master artist. I spent a couple of years on this collection, um, mainly because I like spaceships and things like that, and I totally diverged from absolutely everything that I was doing to put into that. And they said that you on monitor, if you're an artist and you want to create digitally, Go and buy a touch tablet that you can see what you are doing. Not one of these ones that's got a white screen on it. Yeah, crap. One of the proper ones where the, what you see is what in front of you. are drawing, you're seeing instant touch as if you're painting on a canvas. Hence why they look artistic. You are talking to a master artist, after all. So I've just got to get this damn webcam working. I am sorry, I'm working my backside off trying to get it up and running. So I, and it's still not bloody working. Ah, there we go. So now, and I still don't have the game has come. Why isn't the game started? Now, okay, we'll go back to the art for a second. So yeah, as I was saying, it's hard yakka and it's something that you do and everything um, let's just say with the modern techs out there they can go and jump because modern techs don't have the ability to do what a master artist can do so all right so this is launching so why is it launching oh damn it I should have done this beforehand. Uh, uh, okay. Let's, I was talking about Astrox Imperium. While that is uh, downloading the uh, content, let's go to Astrox in Premium. I can bring that in. I'll just get that started up. I just have to add a window. So we're going to add a window to the window capture. And we're going to start a new one. We're going to call this Astrox. So sorry, I was really going to start with World of Warcraft, but unfortunately, it didn't happen because not World of Warcraft, World of Warships. Sorry, just looking at the wrong text. So it's simply a matter of trying to do what you can when you can and it's not showing me i'm gonna have to move this it's um yeah it's just life shit happens i've been concentrating on the stream which is running perfectly i'm streaming the kick I'm streaming to BB2011, I'm a cannabis protester, my backup 2011 account, and kick. So effectively, I'm streaming to five. Which, by the way, is the limit of my stream. If I go any higher than that, I can't. So I need 
Restream. So I've got to buy a subscription. I'm going to buy the big one. Um, so I'm going to put a goal up for donations. And it's 400 and something bucks. So when I, when I put that up, yeah, please uh, donate. If you're watching this down the road, please donate. Because if you want a cleaner stream with less drop, well, it says that I'm not dropping out, but I don't know what they're doing. But um, yeah, so help, help get you a better signal out to you so that um, you can actually truly see what is going on. Because, yeah, that art that you're seeing is only one way I make money. And I want to go back to the way that I like money. Oh, sorry, like making money. Everybody likes money, don't they? <laughs> so why isn't that not bloody working? Don't tell me I've got to do a game catch, right? I haven't opened the window yet. That might help. Um, uh, just what? Oh, I just turned off the <laughs> just turned off the damn thing. So we'll turn that down now. The window is open. Yeah. So sorry about the music. So where is it gone? No, 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 no. Don't tell me I've got to use a game capture. It spags it when I've got to use a game capture. Oh, no. What the hell? Sorry about this, folks. It's um, yeah, a bit of a nightmare. For some unknown reason, it won't let me select. Even though it will let me... Ah, oh, it might be set on full screen. Sorry, I've got to go and set it on Windows. So, yeah, these are the problems. Everybody that games, everybody that does everything um, has a problem on a computer. And OBS is unlike anybody else. There is going to be a show, trust me. It is going, I'm trying to set it up right now, um, but unfortunately World of Warcraft has not kicked in, and um, so uh, we want windowed, we want to turn off full screen, and we go back to window, so now it will accept the window. So I'm going to just quickly add a window to that screen. And we can go and have at least a game of something while we're actually waiting. And guess what? I need... Wow. It won't let me click it. That's... Damn. Okay, sorry about that. So I won't be putting Astrox in premium up because it's not recognising it. For some unknown reason, Steam is still downloading. I hate it when Steam does that right before a stream. I can't believe it. And I should have. The problem is, see, I started back at college tonight. My first day back at college. I haven't been there in three years due to the um, due to the COVID and everything. And oh, damn this! If I try and do anything else, then it won't download World of Warships. And I actually want to play World of Warships. So, yeah, you simply have to do what you have to do when it happens. And unfortunately, this shit happens. So, what I'm going to do is... We'll go to some other screen, another scene, I mean. And just have a yak while we're waiting. Okay, we'll go to this one. So, yeah... It's a lot of problems happen when you're streaming and I've just experienced them all and now I'm just experiencing another problem, stream. Uh, um, it's ridiculous, it truly, truly is ridiculous of what happens with streams and um, with everything else. Sorry folks, I'm just moving the fan, it's bloody hot in here. Um, the moment I've set the green screen up, it becomes like an oven, and I'm not joking. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, I just broke my bloody fan. Damn it. Come on, that'll blow it. Oh, shite. See? Problems. Problems, problems, problems everywhere, and not a solution in sight. Um, 
So sorry, Emmy, it's now my fan. Sorry, you just lost your fan, Donald. Sorry, Donald. I just have to pinch the dog's fan. Uh, still, it's seriously too hot in here to stream without fan running. It's like max temperature in here, and that ain't good, trust me. Max temperature is not good. In Newcastle at the moment, it's damn bloody hot. And I mean damn hot. So, yeah. So, so I've just borrowed the, the, the puppy dog's fan. Yeah, they've got their own fan in this place. You need them in summer. And uh, much better. Woo! Yeah. So, so I'm sweat a bit there. So, so yes, I do apologise, everybody. Unfortunately, if I try and do something else, it's going to spag it. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the channel and uh, get everything up and running so that, um, yeah, you guys can do all this. I'm just getting the webcam over. So, um, yeah, I've got to... Copy a couple of things and I can't bloody find them. Oh man, something, 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 something. There's always a problem. And it's all about solving them. You can be anything you want to be in life, you can have your problems, and yeah. So. It's just a matter of just solving them, i.e. this is a problem that I was not expecting. This just happened. There's nothing I can do about it. And um, all I can do is, yeah, pray that it actually works. And I just found out why I couldn't get that other thing up. I tried to put it in as a webcam. So, and uh, what is that? Where is that? Okay, there I am. I'm already there. Yeah, I'm already actually on the screen. I didn't realise that. Sorry about that, folks. So, yes, um, a problem. It happens. Life has many, many problems. And even when you're a streamer. If you're a streamer and this happens, right? Still make a show out of it, for God's sake. It's sort of, um, you can do what you want, when you want, but if you really want to do well, don't be afraid to keep on going. It's sort of, it's a godsend as a streamer. And yeah, I don't have a huge channels like other streamers that play games because my gaming channel never got set up because I had a stroke. Um, and strokes can knock the shit out, even though I was one of the lucky ones, and mine was minor compared to others. All it did was affect the side of my face and uh, stop me from driving for a while. But it's the way it goes. And then something else happens, i.e. We had the ABS problems because of a stupid mistake. Um, my own mistake, and I admit it openly, I really do, I made the mistake of forgetting to check the, the VPN. Did I turn it off? It should always be the first reaction. And I should have done this the moment I got home, checked to see if there was any patches on the game. Um, because that's what it's going to do. And by the way, you're most probably going to see some uh, imi not images, some ships that look a bit different to everybody. But see, in World of Warcraft, they've got that what they call the mod station. Um, they, you download it only from their site, don't download it from anybody else's. Um, because everything on their site is being approved. And all it does is change ships. I use it to add Star Wars uh, chatter and different things and everything. I went through, I selected some audio, I selected some voices, I selected some ship patterns and designs. 
So, so the, the stream was a bit more interesting. So, so pretty, pretty much, much yeah, yeah, it will be me gaming, but with the difference, I'm an old bloke. Old blokes have stories. See, we've lived way longer than most of you young blokes. Sometimes twice as long, sometimes ten times as long, depending on how old you are. Like, you're, you're a really young one? Yeah, that's ten times. Um, yeah, if you're like 15, 16, four times older than you. 30, I'm twice as old as you. 50, yeah, well, you're in my age group as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> But there's so many of these things, because everybody likes watching these games, because it gives us the idea, is it worth buying this game? Well, I've got some good news. World of Warships is free to play. You can upgrade premium. You can buy all that extra crap. But why? In the first couple of weeks, I have ne I've now, I think I'm either back up to 40 or 36 days, I can't remember. I think it was at 36, because I keep on winning premium time, because I put the hours in. Yeah, so if you slog the hours in one of these types of games, you are going to get free time, because you earn it. And in a lot of games, you can earn it. Um, I won't, yeah, but no, I will mention it. EVE Online is one of the reasons why I play Astrops Imperium. Because we call it EVE Offline. Um, mainly the fact that we don't have to rebuy ships every time one gets destroyed. It's supposed to be a game, CCP. They're the makers of EVE Online. It's supposed to be a game, EVE. And games, you shouldn't have to constantly buy the same ship you have already paid for. If you've got the ship, you own it. Um, so, yeah, and they make up the, oh, it's the economy and all this. Their economy, yeah, for them to make money. If you can't earn premium time in any game, it's not a good game. If, if you, you can, can earn, like, like in this game, game here, World of Warships, which you can't see at the moment, in World of Warships, you can earn your premium time. But you have to put into it to earn it. And you will see that today. I'll show you my premium time. You can see it up in the top, right, uh, top left corner. Um, I've earned every... Oh, sorry. No, I was given seven days when I started. And in that seven days of premium time... I have earned time. I did spend a little money and I did get a couple of things because unfortunately you've got to pay for slots and I've only knew so I haven't had the thing to buy all the ships that I've been researching because naturally I've been playing a lot um, and I didn't have any bonuses for the balloons so they weren't building up too quick. They build up but not as quickly as I wanted to. So. Every game I start, I expect to pay about thirty to forty dollars when I start a game, and that gets me what is necessity that I've found in the game. I haven't bought anything else. I've earned everything else since, um, but it gave me the ability because I had researched about ten ships, but I didn't have the actual 300 doubloons to pay for the slots. So I thought, yeah, okay. I haven't been playing long. And you can earn doubloons, and don't get me wrong, you can actually earn them. Um, but, or you get them in a mission uh, with bonus things, and it doubles or triples or whatever it is. It's a good feature of uh, World of Warships. Um, so, yeah. But in this game, I don't have to go out and buy a new ship every time my ship gets blown up. In EVE Online, they make you go and buy a new ship. You've got to buy it. If you don't have the credits that you've earned in the game, you've got to buy it. Either way, you've got to buy it to get the points. If you don't have the points, you've got to go and buy the... Um, I forget what the ISK, they call it in there. You've got to buy the ISK. And um, so, but a lot of games are set up that way. I think it is wrong. I really do. Um, and a lot of people feel this way. If they're going to make a game, a game should be free. 
It's a, if you pay for a game, in the old days, in the very old days of game, when we got a game, we paid for it. If there was an upgrade or whatever, we paid for the upgrade. But we still could play the older version and it would still work. But it would get to the stage everybody else is in better, bigger ships. So you, you upgrade it. But now, this is their so-called solution for upgrading. Oh, we'll just run it and then we'll just charge everybody for everything. Yeah, pay to play, it's called. Pay to play. But in some games, they're good, like World of Warships. You can actually earn that premium time. But you've got to work for it. And there's a lot of work, there's a lot of playing the game. You've got to play the game to earn the points. Some people don't have the time. Some people want the latest ship right now. They're earning five grand a week. Yeah, they're going to just go out and buy it. But um, if you want to earn a game, you still can do it. In this game, you can. Eve, no way. The only way you survive in Eve is because even in Eve, what they do to you, you can't fly that ship, you can't do this, you can't do that if you're not a premium account. And I haven't come across that yet in this game because I'm still premium because I've won so much premium time. And to me, that's a lot of premium time because it gives me, if I can get for like nearly 40 days, no, actually it was up to 45 days, if I can get 45, no, 46, sorry, was the highest. If I can get up to 46 days with a couple of small um, pieces of time, then anybody can do it. Because if I can do it, I'm an old man, for God's sake. It's sort of, yeah, I've got the time, so I use it. And, um, oh, God, would this hurry up and install? Okay, we've finally got the game. So, but as I was saying, folks, if you're a streamer, for God's sake, fill the time in with something. Be entertaining. This shit happens. You can't do anything about it because it just happens. I had no, I had absolutely no control on this program, and I can tell you now that it's actually working, and we can finally go live, and. Um, yeah, we've got to turn that one off. Switch over. And as I said, this stream is proudly brought to you by what is ZS.com. What is it? I don't know. Do you? Actually, what it is, it's an invention that I invented. Everybody needs it, and I guarantee everybody one day will have a pack sitting in a couple of drawers, another pack over there, Mum will have some, Susie will have some, Bobby will have some, Dad, Grandpa, Grandma. I made a unique invention that everybody needs. That's bigger than sliced bread. Why do you think I've been advertising it the way I do? Wow, 750 credits. See, you can earn this money in the game. And it's simple, it really is. It's called putting the time into the game. If you put the time into the game, then you will get results. So, yeah, let's uh, just turn this off. i am just got to find that bloody ad. No, wrong one. Oh, man, where did I put it? <laughs> it's up there somewhere, folks. Ah, right, there we go. So, yeah, this, today, it was a free gift. So, um, yeah, it can be done in many different ways in many games. This is what they call a daily reward. Every time you play, you get a reward. So some days they've got uh, coinies, some days they've got coal, some two days I'm going to get a container. 
So every four days it looks like you get a container. But every, uh, yeah, so often you get the really good stuff down here. So it's worth playing the game. The more you play, the more you get. So um, you can survive. So I've just got more, oh, okay, I'm getting 400 coal tomorrow. So I'm not going to play that one today. I'm going to play my unique, I call this, there's no competitions on, I can't see. Um, hang on, I'll just check the battle missions. So you always check this. Uh, what have I got to get to get that one? Uh, I've got to do damage to ships, okay. So that one, complete any mission. Yeah, that one's easy, complete three missions, which is complete in a single battle. Yeah, I'm still trying to work out what some of these things are. They put these codes up, and how are we supposed to know these damn codes are? So I'm just waiting on my next Twitch drop to get that one. So, yeah, it pays to watch YouTube as well. Um, and sometimes you get dedication out of watching your favourite channels or favourite people that stream, because there's a lot of good streamers out there. There really, really is. Um, and yeah, actually I know we're going to play my new German battleship, oh yeah, let's play the German battleship, he's already set up with bonuses almost, is he? No, no, he's got no bonuses, I'm not spending any credits to buy them, so no, so we're going with what we've got, so I haven't actually uh, really driven this ship. I think I've had one battle in it. I've, I got the Japanese one yesterday. So now, what I'm planning, I'm actually planning a way to build my subscribers soon. Um, I'm hoping to offer a million subscriber draw of all the subscribers. I'm hoping to do it. I haven't sorted it out yet, but I'm hoping to do it. Um, if I can do it, I will do it. And uh, actually, yeah, this is a this is a Japanese one I bought yesterday. Um, I earned enough research points to get him. Pretty basic, but the, the planes are pretty good. You only get one torpedo on this. The way it works, when they do a dive bomb, they only dive bomb down one at a time. So it's pretty cool. I like it. And um, so there's a lot of, if you're into ships, yeah, if you're into tanks, they've got World of Tanks. And while I'm doing that, no, it won't upload, so uh, let's see if it is updated. So, um, World of Tanks, because I actually, no, I can't get into World of Tanks at the moment. I've got a uh, login problem that's been sorted, but I haven't logged into it yet. So let's go to battle with this one. Let's do a mission, shall we? Oh, well, we're doing a mission. We're going to missions. And uh, missions can be fun, and I can't use that shit. Damn it. Too small. I forgot about that. But I want to fly it because it's a good ship. I like it. And uh, when I like something, I tend to play it a bit more than usual. Um, now, with any game now, and you're in your streamer, and you experience this. Oh, so you're learning a little bit about streaming. But what I'm going to do after a couple of matches, I'm going to set up a program called Joy2P, and I'm going to show you the intricacies of setting... Um, your joystick to match your keys and have multiple setups within one little program all you do is go into the program instead of reprogramming all the keys all the time because they're saved in the program joy your key is brilliant i swear by it um it's with this game it's complicated there's a lot of different things i don't know if we're going to get to that one today i'm hoping to and uh, yeah, so you've got to fill time. So well, that's why I talk and tell stories and tell you about myself. Well, 62 years old for those that are noobs. Yes, I'm an old man. I've even got a walking stick. Only because I've got a busted knee. <laughs> but the thing is, it's sort of 
you've just got to do what you can do. You can be silly, you can be, yeah, you can have your costume on, I forgot, which I forgot by the way, and yeah, it's, you just make up these things, but by the way, the costume's actually not just for costume. Um, the days here are bloody hot, but the nights in this area, the nights are bloody freezing. So yeah, you need something on your head. Um, otherwise you get a cold. So hence why I wear the bandana. And I wear lots of bandanas. I normally wear charity ones, but this latest lot they got, they shrink. So yeah, they're not too crash. So we're about to go into battle. And um, yeah, so the guys, if you are out there, if you are watching, please don't hesitate to jump into chat say something tell me if there is a problem and please understand that i i can only check chat in these because chat is set up on a different window altogether and um, because it's set up on a different window i have to go in i have to click on different things no one's in kick at the moment so we simply um and i've got to change that by the looks of it because I'm streaming and it says protest. Uh, God, I'd better fix that up. So we're about, we're about to go to battle. Oh, wow. Okay, so. All right, I'll, okay, to those of on the Cannabis Protester channel, sorry about the name on the video. It's not matching. We are playing World of Warships, which I'm just going to tell them. And uh, yeah, so we've got different programs, operational, and um, we're just going to send uh, some claims up. Uh, what in the hell is going wrong with this? So yeah, I'll do the editing of the, the streams later. I'm do sorry about that. Uh, so if you are watching on the Cannabis Protest, this is a show. It's... Not, Not just for this channel, channel, it's for all my channels. channels. Oh, and you see the name Cannabis Protester on the top. All the logos are for all the channels. The two logos in the corner are for the show. The other logos are for the channels. So, and it is being broadcasted to more. I haven't done my kick logo yet, so... I thought I... Didn't I launch my shit, my planes? And I've got to do a... Um, just to keep my ship active, the worst thing you can do is have an aircraft carrier that's stagnant because you will get targeted in a heartbeat. Trust me, I'm one of the dive bombers that do it. I don't mind telling you how to use them. They're not bad little ships. And um, if you've got smoke, now, to all the players out there that play World of Warships, you are supposed to be a team. And you want to know the secret to playing World of Warships? Go and do a mission to where you're supposed to stay together. Because in the Navy, that's what they do. They work as one cohesive team. They destroy one ship after another. And you take your aircraft carrier with you. But instead, in this game, I'm stuck all the way, bloody way back in the background, having to fly. And... Um, so now we're going into the kill. Uh, now I'm going to do, can't do the wiggle doesn't work here, so it's now, uh, it has to be in the right spot. So we've got a hit there for sure. Yes, we have a hit. The best thing about it is you spin around and what ones you've got left, you use. And uh, it's the same deal. Just Send it in, you wait until you're in the right angle, get in the right spot, watch that timer, it's all about that timer. So you're in the right spot, and I think I might have two planes left, so we're going to use them on that battleship because he's in the right orientation, so we're going after him. So we, at the moment all I'm doing is watching AA fire here at the moment, but I'm going to drop a torpedo there, just send it, because I'm going to make him turn, and I know, hopefully it hits him, I just lost my other ship, damn it, so yeah, uh, these ones, dive bombers, yeah, I like them too, pretty good, pretty good at targeting these, 
but yeah, so in real life, you protect that air, aircraft carrier. You, the first person you should be contacting is that aircraft carrier. Where are you going? Do you want support? And then I can take that aircraft carrier with you. I can launch these things in an instant and be at the battle in an instant. Instead, I've got to sit here and wait all this damn time. You guys need to learn, need to learn Navy tactics. And I'm not even in the Navy. I wanted to be, so I learnt them years ago. My grandfather was in the Navy. He told me all about them. You can't survive in the, in the Navy or in any armed forces without tactics. And if you don't use tactics, you're just a bunch of school kids come home and you're playing the game while you are thin and you've got no idea. And unfortunately, that's what this is like, even though it's a bunch of adults. There we go. And dropped it in the right spot. Are we going to get him? Yes, we're going to get him. Oh man, it missed. It turned again. And I'm going to return them to sing because I want some torpedoes now. So I'm going to leave them. So even if you've got planes up and you can dive bomb a couple of times like that, always use the sides for turn if you're near them. But you see what I mean about the time it actually takes me to get to the battle? Because not one person in the chat is says, okay, do you want uh, help? Uh, do you want this? Do you want us to cover you? Yeah, I'll fly around. If I've got smoke, I will fly over battleships and drop smoke. Because that's my primary job. I'm doing my job. But a lot of them, yeah, they're just more interested. They've got no concept. They just want to shoot. They don't want to have a real game. Do some missions. Learn how. Learn, learn Navy tactics. That's what the missions are for. To teach you how to be a good player. But if you aren't learning how to be a good player, you're just someone shooting around, and yeah, just yeah, mucking around. You've got no concept of what's going on. But if you do missions, you can yeah survive. And they will. So it's a simple matter of doing everything. And sorry, I need my codes. After I shoot this ship, I'm going to most probably get roasted by these guys because there's two of them. But I don't care. I'm just going to drop the door and hope for the best. So like, like ah, that. It was a hopeful test. But see, now I'm in distance of him. And no, I'm not because I didn't react quick enough. And I'm not losing ships unless I get one down. So I might get there yet. Can we get a torpedo in the water? That's what matters. I know exactly where to shoot it. So yeah, it's just a matter of dropping it in the right place at the right time and the right angle and bang you get a hit so you keep on doing that and you do well in this game trust me i've learned that i do well in this game so I'll do it again and um, yeah so by the way all these sounds and music you are currently hearing are from a program called the voice mod it's a voice changing software, it has music, oh shit, he's coming after us. So this is what you've got to watch out for in the game. This is why you protect your aircraft carrier. Your aircraft carrier is the one that can, do, can weaken the ships for you. It's not about just being you, it's about being a team. And when you're in the Navy, you don't act like a team, you're dead. You really are. It's the same in any emergency force. You act and work as a team. You make sure that you look after the other players. Like now, I'm un under attack by a major threat. And yet I have no one around me because they've all died because they've all gone off and had their little games and you just made a stupid mistake i.e. you've got that some of them know when you're going to turn i.e. some people use cheats in this game which is wrong see I'm dying at the moment, I know that 
yeah, it's a pity, but one day these people will learn. Oh, mate, don't do that because I'm going to put it right up your bum. That's the beauty thing about this little ship. I'm going to make a turn in a second. I'll miss you that time. This feels good. He's not a rank four player, this person. This person knows exactly what to do, when to do it. Yeah, so. So now I'm under fire by this player as well. This is the threat. We've got to take him out. So we're going to take him out right now. We've got a hit on that one. Yes, we've got a hit on that one. Go away, turn around again. We've still got two planes. Worst part about it, we don't have repair in this one. I mean, big one I do, because I want to repair the planes in there. Yeah. Come on, dude, green, green! Oh, I didn't have time to arm. Let's just take a pot shot, we've got one left. We're going to die in, anyhow, so it doesn't matter which one we take, we're going to die, so we're just going to drop a torpedo. And we didn't have any time to do that! So, and see, we're under major attack, because my team is not a team. And, yeah, it pisses you off, but half of them are kids. You can't expect too much, but to be our players, for God's sake, learn how to play the game. Learn to be a team. Be a team, it's a navy for God's sake. Oh, a real one, one that you're in a navy that's fought it, pushed into battle with other players that you haven't met before. Our countries do it all the time. They're called joint war exercises. Taking this as a joint war exercise, you still need to act like a team. If you want to win, you have to act as a team and do shit like this by protecting your aircraft that can do stuff like this and has the ability, I say I shouldn't even be using these, I should be using torpedoes, but because I'm losing all my planes because I have no support, all I can do is this. And, um, I don't wait for sorts to just fill up anyhow, so he knows I'm coming in for another shot. You just got to put it, ah, I missed it, see? I'm going to use the wall, see? I'm not even turning here, you watch this street. I'll turn here a bit, it'll give me a sharper turn than I would normally get. So even the wall of the game can be used to full advantage. And, um... Dead and then fly away. Gets down too low on jumping up is gonna sink the let these fly back on their own. I'm gonna do that now. I'm getting the torpedoes. I want one decent variety of torpedoes. Bugger. I need torpedoes against him. Torpedoes will sink him if he's got enough damage. Now, oh, you hit for that, you hit for that. So you're concentrating on shooting, not steering. No, no, it's just work there. You got a warning. So now we're going in. Still only get one torpedo, but that one torpedo like this is still vital. More easy to do damage with. And you go straight in for the kill on the next one. That's why I like these old planes, because you have that ability to do this. And he'll turn, he'll turn, we're almost dead. This might be our last flight unless we can turn and get another torpedo in. No, he's got he's gotten wise to us. So he knows what we're doing. So we're gonna have to fly around a little bit to stay in the angle. And he's following us, so he knows exactly what I'm doing. I can't do it, my ship's going to be dead any second. But yeah! 
I've lasted longer than everybody else. Storyteller action, that's a good one. So that is in uh, Storyteller action. We'll find out where it is. Uh, to get the Storyteller action, I use... Hmm. W. I forgot to write that bugger down. So, yeah, 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 so... You just make it really easy. So... Sorry. Yeah. No, no, that's the thing. I want that. Sorry. But, uh, sorry to tell us the one. That's my left control. Right. So that one. It's in the voice. Alrighty then. So, yeah. I even like quick keys. Write them down. Because you can't also can't always see the voice mod. And um, so now I know the voice mod controls. It's over there. So now I can see them like I should be when I'm playing. So let's see what we got. We've got one Citadel hit, which is good. Uh, we've got one target hit, that was the Citadel hit. We've got uh, the guns, we've got three torpedo hit, target hits, and the torpedo, oh, the bombers, six, and we only spotted one. But yeah, not a bad little shit. That's not a, for this level, that's not a good, uh, not a bad um, thing. So, we're going to jump out of that one. I'm going to show you the little Japanese one that I just... Oh no, that is the Japanese one. The German one. We'll go to the German one. That's the one I got the other day. But, um, so there's different things that you can actually do um, in the game and different ways you can play it. And it's up to yourself, but if you really want to have fun in this game, you get together in a, in a um, clan and work as a team, as one cohesive group, you're going to have a much better time. A much better time. That's it. So let's go and check this one out. I haven't used this one too much. So we want to go left, control, W. Probably got that back. And this song is Storyteller Action from the Voice Mob. Yeah. This is something else that I'm going to put a goal up for, is to pay for the Voice Mob and get the premium on the Voice Mob. Uh, it's not a bad little thing. There's going to be a lot of learning, trust me. I've got to write down a shitload of codes. And it's going to take me a day just to do that. It's the same with Joy to Key. Enjoy the Key takes a little bit of time to set up, but when you're setting up Joy to Key, you need other things as well. You need to have Joy to Key up there, you need to be able to see what's going on, and uh, you need to say, okay, well that one's got that one and that one, because in this game they've got different levels of, um, just leave the queue for a second. But so yeah, so I'm already back to 35, um, so, the amount of settings in this game is a problem. But controllers. But it's pretty standard for a game. You run through them, you know, oh, okay, but this one, you've got ship controls, then you've got aircraft controls. So some of them still use the same thing, but you've got to know that some of them have different things like in the consumables, or you do for the get back and shit. Then you've got chat. Oh, I haven't changed the thing because I wish they all the time. So I changed B from boy to the app stuff to make it a bit easier. Or in. And um, then you've got your quick commands and you know, control and uh, a whole lot. You can say just different things around during the three, just push B and do 
thing to any problems. Other than that, you're going to get the sound effect coming on with it. Um, this story tower action um, was an accident, uh, just by me putting something on the computer and needing the control. So we got this, so we're going to go off and play. play. See, and by the way, I'm actually still learning this game. I'm not sort of someone that's like really used to it. I'm someone that's only been playing for lucky to be a couple of weeks. So, and I'm getting, I think I'm reasonable at it. And um, that's what it's all about. It's about, trying, it's about trying your best to do what you can and learning, learning, learning. Oh, and how's this? I'm going to show you a picture later. Um, I'm actually surprised and flattered actually how many people want my name and a copy of my book, The Movie. Uh, or they're just doing uh, things with Bluebeards. I don't know if they've really got Bluebeards. But yeah, they're all trying to copy the original. Oh, that's why I have to put Bluebeard original channel on. Because there's so many bloody copycats out there. But, so, so it's flattering. Yeah. Um, but it's, yeah, flattery's copper. So they see that it's a good hook. But it's only brighter blue than that, as I said last night. This one, yeah, it's not as good as the fudge. The fudge is much better, more colour. And it's a really good colouring. And it's a good I don't want to tell you what it is for my hair or whatever. Um, I'm not into woke crap all the way, so please don't ever get in chat and try and pull the woke act on me. Like, so, yeah. uh, I don't be harassed by anybody. And with these new harassment laws, they work both ways. Um, no one can force us to call them that because then that's classified as harassment. So yeah, it's actually quite good now that they can't force us to call them what they want to be called because if they try to force you, that is called harassment. So yeah, wise up people. Um, yeah, I've got nothing against them. I respect their sex. If they're male, they're male. If they're female, they're female. I don't care. But, if they have a problem with that thing, they're not. That's not my problem. They don't have to force it upon me. They don't have to force it upon anybody. And with all these new harassment laws that to protect them, but it also protects us. So they can't harass us. And so like, you've got to call me this. No, I don't. You are not male if you're female, and you're not female if you're a male. So I will never do that. Never. So, and if you try and force me in any way, shape, or form, I will run sue you for harassment. And everybody in this country, anyhow, now has that right. And anybody in America now has that right because it works both ways. You try and force somebody to use your pronouns because that's what you want. You don't rule the world, people. You don't. So, yeah, just wake up, grow up, and get some yeah, balls or whatever you call it and grow up and be sensitive. There's two sexes. Two sexes only. I will stand by that to the day that I die. Because I know God, my father and your father created two sexes and occasionally there is a genetic mistake. And that's right. Now they, I will call him or her because of their medical condition. But no, when it's work shit, go that way. You don't even bother. Okay, so now we're up and flying. So uh, yeah, I'm very, very vocal on that, folks. Very, very, very vocal. Fly, you thing, fly. Fly, my pretties. Fly. But, um,. The thing is, it's sort of, why should you have the right to force people to call you what you want to be called? It's not your real sex, it's not your real thing. And if you try and force anybody to do anything these days, it is called harassment. And it um, doesn't matter if you're an employer, whether you're uh, whatever. You can't do it anymore, and thank God for the new laws. Because they had to think about the fact that, okay, if we make this law, Who's it going to affect as it going to make it hard for other people? So yeah, they thought about that too. 
And in Australia, that new law protects everybody. So it uh, doesn't matter who you are. You can't be forced to do anything. And no one can force you to do anything. That is called harassment. And that includes calling them what they want to be called. You are not that if you are not that. So simple. And you cannot force anybody to say it. And we got two strikes. Oh, and we got some spotted. No, we didn't hit him. He ricocheted. What a bugger. Oh, where the hell is that coming from? Ooh. Oh, there he is. I need him. We got fighter. We're getting fighters, we're getting fighters, we're getting fighters because we just landed over the top of him. And uh, yeah, so where is he? I'm just seeing where he is, folks. Actually, I should have known where he was. And I know exactly what map I'm on. I'm in the wrong friggin' spot. Yeah. So, I used to have a hidey hole, but yeah, it's too dangerous. But I've wanted that over the years. Like, there's no clue, sorry. But yeah, so that's a tip for everybody. No one can force you to do anything. So learn that and stick by. But when it comes to games, guys, learn how to play. Please. It's so much more fun when you work as a team. And think about your country, for God's sake. You could be learning how to battle strategy and things like that and trust me strategy helps in everything I, I love playing strategy games because you learn and that's the bloody land yeah so oh look at this how about this we, we get one last bomb in really Oh yes! Right on it, right on target. God, they've got fun. They're faster than this one. So yeah, it's up to yourself what you do in life. I love this music for this. <laughs> Hiking! <laughs> but yeah, talk about anything you want on this stream when you're playing games, you want to talk about how to do it, whatever. But never try and force anybody to do anything. It's wrong. It's a free world, and not really a free world, but my country is a free, it's supposed to be a free country. The government's try to force you to do shit, that's hard, that's bad enough, the government's do it to us. So I won't stand for people trying to do, do it to me. And um, yeah, you cry all you want about it, because it won't affect me, because I don't care. And, I, and you know, it can even be proven in a court, it can't be used against you. If someone says that you are not male because you are not a male, you can't do anything about it because you try and take it to court, you get laughed at by the judge because you are not a male. And fire! Two torpedoes of play, boss! Oh, that had to be a hit. I knew that was going to be a hit. So, yeah, let's try it again. Come around the corner this time with a bit of a turn room. And they say, don't do this. Because no. we're going out there. Here. Oh no, that's our boat. Shit, I saw the burning ship. Oh. Oh, this boat again. And the fighters are there trying to kill me. He's going that way, if I put a torpedo there, that should get him. Then I come back up, do a turn. Ah, so it's a good thing I put the torpedoes in when I did. So, the torpedoes always take my time to load those bloody new planes up, no matter what, what country you're using. But this is what I mean about in battle. You need to like you work as a team in this game, your clan's going to go places. Because this is what the people are not working like a team. You think about it, you have one cohesive group, about 20 ships firing on one ship at a time, including aircraft, those ships are going to just go down like... <laughs> yeah, down to Davy Jones' locker as quick as possible. So, 
And again, these guys are a threat to us, so we've got to take these out. So yeah, it's up to yourself what you do in life, folks. So, and that's, uh, man, this has got a different ratio on it. Now this has got a very different ratio on that aim target. Where is it? Okay, so we'll go this one. Over there. Okay, how many seconds? Yeah, this has got a totally different aim. So get back up there. And he's making the mistake of not watching. Big mistake in this game. Oh, what well, do you know? There's an aircraft carrier down there, but then he just shot us down. And the only problem is, he's got uh, fires. In this one, we don't have any. We've only got one computer gives us in this one. What's that mean about not being with the group? If I go over there, though, I'm dead. Because I have no protection. So, yeah, stand by your players, guys. Learn how to play. Just work as a group. It's really easy. It takes a couple of seconds to get in chat. Say, OK, we need to protect aircraft area. Full stop. Let's do it. Stick together. Let's go as one team in one group. Go on a mission and do one of those missions. We'll see why they protect those aircraft carriers. Because of the simple fact of oh, dude, you're dying. Well, you're going to start dying, isn't you? These ones got two torpedoes. I want them to sway. Did we hit? Did we hit? Oh, what a pity! We hit a hit! Nice and bad. It didn't do much damage. Maybe we can do some damage this way. Yes, he's the beating. Yeah, they just shot down the plane. Oh, what a hit! Beautiful. Beautiful, baby. Beautiful. Just died. Died right. Oh shit, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. Well, I think this group is the same group that we battled before and they're working as a team. And they're not sticking together. I think they're the they're So even divisioning up is working as a team. And that's what you need to do, folks. If you, if you don't work as a team, you don't have a hope in hell of winning. Um, oh, one of my torpedoes, those planes can get back to the ship on their own. I need torpedoes to take this deal out. Try to take them out. I could get the weaker target, but... You've got to know how to drop them to oh, we missed one. Shit. What's shooting at us? I'm not going to shoot at him. He's shooting at us with and he shot us. So we're going to be dead any second and we can't do anything about it. I'm going to rely and hope that the main guns work. We'll go this one. But you can use your dive bombs, not only just to get away from the air, the um, flat, and we turn in the time. Yes. Oh shit. Every plane, too, has got a different uh, turn ratio. Nuts.
things it just says oh this is um, what is that we don't know that's your language not ours that's your programming language so now we're going to jump up to the next level folks but we're going to do a mission yeah, this is what a mission is right you go up here to ra you go up here to ram click on random you click on operations then you select your ship 
are you going to be this one, are you going to be that one? It'll tell you what ships you can use in mi missions. It's got to be above five. In other words, level six and up. And um, these are the ships you can fly. And each one has a different thing. Each ship does something different. And yeah, so I've got the New Mexico is my battleship, so let's, um, yeah, that's me, New Mexico. Not a bad little ship. But the Yorktown, this one, yeah, I want that one, got that one. Uh, did uh, some missions uh, in this one. So yeah, you still can get really, really nice ship. Um, you just can't play your premiums if you're not a premium account. Yeah, you can only play your thing. So if you've got these yellow ones, you've got to be premium to play the yellows. So, um, the Perth is not a bad ship. Let's go on a mission with the Perth. Perth is only a cruiser. So, this is a, hopefully it's a mission that I'm thinking of, so I can teach you how to act as a, as a cohesive, co sorry, cohesive group within a battle. Because that's important. You see, if you really think, um, think that they do that and run off and do their own little thing, no, they don't. Have you ever seen different things? Have you ever seen a mission? Have you ever seen them in the like when they're doing a story about battle groups? And I just realised something. You aren't even watching the game. Oh, yes, you are. So what's going on with this? Wow. The delay on that, to one of the channels is really slow. But it looks like the, the graphics are there. It doesn't look like I'm getting any uh, drop frame rates. So it's working. No matter what it's doing, it is working. It's doing its job. It's just taking its time to get through to some of these channels. Oh, this is the car. This is the one. Right. So first we take these things out. Get your guns, shoot. So, uh, while those guns are really low, I'm going to shoot that one, and we can't shoot that one. We're not close enough. So, we're going to mission. Where's everybody heading? Okay, now see in this one, they're going in that direction. So I'm trying to work out which way the air car camera is going in. So for now I'm just going to go straight ahead until I know where the air car camera is going. Because I'm going to stick by. And now, autopilot frees me up. I can now, I'm going to put some fighters in there so I get an extension on my range. So I can do that. Yeah, his range isn't that crash right, but he's still a good little ship. But he does have some speed in him, so where's that ship going? The aircraft? Right, so he's heading this direction, so we're going. Everybody else seems to go in that direction, so um, actually no, we're going to go back here. Pick that point up. take out some targets. So hopefully yeah we just can't work this So but this is my job as a cruiser. We're in cruisers droid, destroyers are generally in front of us. The cruisers are generally behind us. And so, it's just a matter of, so at the moment we, we've got a lot of bases we can take out. So now I can concentrate on that. I can't take that out yet. 
Get to know your ships, what you're firing at. Don't worry. First shot, sorry. First shot. You've got to know what you are firing at. Because if you don't know what you're firing at, you're never going to hit it. Yeah, so you've got to learn. But you still can't get the base. Where are we? What the hell? Where are we going? Oh, we've got to turn around by that ship, did we? Good thing about this ship, it's got a really quick reload. I like it. I really love the reload on this, and it's got torpedoes as well, so you go back and leave it there in the bag up. Swap with those ones. Just bring it in the other ones on the braces. Almost in range of the brace. Oh, you can see there. So 
we select this. And because we're fast, we're going to go slow so we protect the, um, the aircraft. Now, so the plates are leaves. I'll just keep going after those two. So now we, but we need to shoot. We need to shoot and destroy the destroyer. There are at least half the operations to destroy the battleship secure and die. So that's what we. No, I don't want to do that. So we're going after those two ships. So as long as half the ships make it, the aircraft should be there. So we're on a slower speed. So we can speed up. Catch up to the aircraft. And how far away is he? I think he's just out of our range. Put a fighter up and put him in range. No, not yet, but it will any second. So he'll come into that range any second now if they don't kill him first. So we'll go to this one shot him, hopefully. The Fury, that's the target. He's the target. So we want him. So that means we're going to fight. That's the ship we have to destroy. That's the ship I'm going to destroy. So, yeah. Just different changes in voice and everything. Well, so we need to hunt here. I'm not sucking. What's he doing? just sitting there, even though the game itself has told him to evacuate, because that's one of the missions, he's got to survive, he needs to survive. Yeah, so every ship type of ship has, look at, get the name ships, look at the flag of the ship, look at the um, type of ship that you're fighting against, because they simply are easy, like this one. Okay, he's going about 15, I think. We need to do a repair. Yeah. So I was right about 15, but he's changed, and now he's right on target for us. Go straight for his high point, he's smoking up. We can't get away, there's too many dogs. We know exactly where he is. Uh, oh shit. And he's dead. Oh, 
15, bring him down on that angle. Not quite not, not he's moved. So, down there. Hopefully we get, oh, he's got a few shots in here. Always keep your finger on a half. You just need to know if we hit me. Okay, he's down at the top 10. Oh, he's a giant there, but he's no wonder. Yeah. They're a bit slower. As I said, the Perth has, and I just got killed by the battleship because it was concentrating on the little one. So yeah, got reasonably, I'm not going to stick around and wait. I'm going to move on to the next one. So if you want to get up and do a lot of stuff, yeah, do it. Get out there, play, enjoy. But enjoy the game. Don't turn around and, um, yeah, just waste your time. Look, come into the operations, if you're, especially in level six. Come into operations and play a couple of missions. There's one that really teaches you Navy tactics down to the T. And uh, it's the Protect the Gold mission. And that's how groups should work is it one cohesive group. Like when Navy ships travel around an ocean, they don't all move everywhere. They turn around and, um, yeah, they swap over, they do different things, and every ship has a mission, yes, but those ships still work by what the, what the Admiral or the leader of the group says and um yeah so sorry about that. that that's actually changed i want to just keep that on i like this music for this so i think i'll be playing oh what's it it's either with two oh no they're better with both i won't play that but it's got a lot of good things in here we've got tight so yeah you can do different things, everything is different. So you can play around with music, and I will get back to the game. So, and I will get back to that one in a second. I've set this up to W for a reason. I'll play a solution. Here we have a health ship somewhere. I can go back to him, which we go back back. So we can heal ourselves here. So use your. This is why I like the spider um, one better because if they're travelling at an angle, I know I've worked out which angle is best, so just down a little bit, and up a bit, so up a bit, up a bit. Um, which is the best one to shoot. Ranger, uh, cruiser, 12. We should get in, we should get in midships, if we want to. Yep, midships. So just getting to know the ships and yeah, and what you're capable of, you know where the thing, work out where to hit them. Yeah, you might not always get the final kill, but as long as you do your task and um, 
Because we are nothing more than a support ship. We support whatever's out there and uh, give them a bit of support because we're a little bit faster than So this is one type of mission, but we're all about the protection of what's back there, which can this mission can be lost really easily if you're not careful. But the object is to kill them before they enter our base, because if they enter our base, Hey, so it's teaching you how to protect the base within the game. So are uh, there more complex missions? And they are missions. That's, uh, God, even the bots you smoke? Wow. So where'd the others go? So we're not quite in our range yet, so we're going to change our angle of attack. And we're going to go here. Right up there. And now we can shoot this little bloke. Our yeah, guns come up on you. He's up the right. Yeah, so we got him started. He's over here now somewhere. So now we go after this bloke. Um, you get to judge the speed. Trust me, you can even dream this stuff. Um, after. Always be on your repair. And now that extra distance, so it doesn't matter what we shoot. And he got me. Yeah, but that's the way the game goes. The way the game goes, yeah, he killed me. Yeah. But it's yeah, up to you really what you want to do, what you want to do when you're playing a game. Do you want to sort of stick around? Do you want to play the game? Do you want to have fun? What? It's up to yourself. And um, but see, there are missions where you have to protect um, the aircraft carriers. Even the aircraft carriers have to protect other aircraft carriers. It's all part and parcel of it. Now, yeah, this will be a bit more intense because we're at level 8 now. So, um, yeah, this is the big boys playing. But you can't always play the big ships. You want to play the little ships. You don't get them for nothing. You buy them to play the damn thing. And like I still going back to I love going back to lower levels and playing in those lower levels because the ships are different. Okay, the mission is sudden attack. Oh, yep. So now this is naval tactics. This is one of the missions. Our job is to protect that aircraft carrier in the middle of the map. That's our job. And uh, we to go there. It'll give us instructions and everything. So um, yeah. So now we spot. But first, while that's spotting, we set our path. We've got to go right there. So that's where we're now. And now everybody in the group will work together. And this is what you can do in the game if you work as a group. And I know there's going to be little ships coming from that direction. I played this mission before, so I'm hungry. But now, because I'm in the air, I can spot them earlier, like I just did. And all the other players are now aware of these ships. So I might probably get dropped, but I'm not actually going for the big one. I'm going for that one. With a widespread, hopefully we get one. 
Yeah, we got one with this ableist steering. Oh, that's even better. So we're going to re we're going to risk all those attacks. Another win in with this ableist steering last round. So let's see what we can do during this round. Right burst. See how that goes everywhere. That's how. You that's one way of firing torpedoes because he goes off that direction, that one, does it hit? No. But there is more of a chance of hitting. If depending on what you're doing, there are different tactics, yes I know. So but, um, what the hell? Little ships got no idea. Big ships always have the right of the way. People, you need to learn the game. You need to learn the game. No, my luck is most probably just a bloody block. It's not a bad news. Always drop it right in front of the thing so that the centre Hopefully it lines up with the lake and turn and that screws you right up. Well, let me do that. We'll drop a couple of torpedoes. Again, we're going to straight over there. The problem is, I'm sure... I oh, know that's one of our boys that we play up. It's even better. Oh, he's dead anyhow, so we're now... We won't have to get to him. So yeah, our job is mainly spotting and having fun. Um, killing ship while we're up here. Even though it is warships, my ship's still in operation. I know exactly where my warship is. It's there. I'll wait for the next command and then I'll go again. So I'll stick as close as I can to the main route, but in the meantime, I will. Hence what we've got in our thing, but we've got to find them. Oh shit, there he is, around there. We found him. Speak it up. Don't need the overheat protection on this one. So the line up. Take that one, mate. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? We got two into him. Oh, one into him. We might know we missed that one. Yeah, we're dead because of this flat. And hitting the repair button doesn't really not even going to count. So what we're going to do? We're going to go up here, bum, and we're going to shoot a couple, of, two torpedoes at him to see what happens. If we survive, that is. And we did. They're the long guns, they're the ones that can hit anything from a distance. Me? Yeah, stay behind and be the slowest in the whole group. But I suppose a lot of people just play these games not for strategy. So for now, all I'm doing is um, rocking around. Doing a bit of, um, sorry, 
doing a bit of uh, thing when they just do here. Yeah. So I'm just checking here. Oh, what a pity, he can't. That might seem strange if you just want to. I seem to have a joystick in my hand. Doing this. What the hell? Oh, it's like that. It's going to So yeah, we've got um sort of here to get a thread over here. So you get told where the threats are, so you gotta Oh, okay, that's me. Just a simple matter of concentration. Sorry about that. I had an issue with the keypad. I'm trying to think what the hell is going on. That one was a miss. I did that. That's not not been turned any boring. That was me screwing up. Oh, the aircraft area! Woohoo! Finally! Where are you, my friend? Oh, wrong way. There it is! There it is! Oh, we got another one. 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 Oh, we got another one.
So, yeah, it's a simple matter of having a game here, having a game there, looking at what is available, looking at what you can do with the game. Um, and why did I shut Astra to Imperium? I oh, couldn't open the window. I can't play World of Tanks. And the problem with... I, I'm going to make this as part of the video. I'm going to tell them to watch this stream and where to see it so they can see what I'm going through. Uh, I went into World of Warplanes, I tried to play World of Warplanes, and there's a bit of a drama. It sort of, um, check our computer, make sure it's not overworking. See? I'm streaming to five channels, and I've got two games open now, and I'm only using half my memory, half of the and I'm only using 25% of the CPU, 25% of the disc, so everything's running fine. I've got two games running now, so... Um, cool. 
So we can play. But there is a problem now. This part of the video, this is for Wargaming, um, the company that makes these games, um, because there's a current bug that I've found that I can't get around. Um, in other words, I can't do anything in the game, so while I'm here and starting the game up, and it's also a good thing, it tells me what games are being recognised as games, what are being recognised as Windows, so I'm going to have to go in and put the setup in here as soon as possible, so that, um, but in the meantime, you still get to um, watch the, what the hell has happened there? What has happened to that? Sorry, something's going on here. Ah, oh, that's better. And uh, so now, I'm going to swap that over. Yeah, I'm not going to go back to that. I actually should have gone back to that. I'm going to make this window. I'm going to go straight into settings. No, we go and go. Connect. Why can't we connect? So, America. So I tend to like the North American server better than uh, anything else now. So here in, okay, first we collect our daily reward, but I can't show you what's going on because OBS, oh, what the heck is going on? It didn't move across. So um, I've just got to add a window, actually we can add a window capture. Sorry, I just have to do this and update these guys. Um, we want to remove these damn things. The world of warships, we want the world of war planes. So why is it coming out as world of war planes? Warships. No, wow. It, we must have to bring this in as a game. Okay, so I can't actually play this for you. Really sorry, folks. I've got a little bit of setup, so we'll stick with World of Warcraft. Uh, World of, sorry, World of Warships. Um, because I just worked out what's happening. One is signing me out of the other and I, it's causing a thing. So I'm going to have to work out a thing where I play something else from a different company, then come into the game. So I'll work that out tomorrow. And hopefully our next stream is going to be a hell of a lot better. Wow, I cannot believe the, the slowness of Cannabis Protester, but not a dropout. There's not a dropout on any of the channels. So guys, if you're chatting in the windows and everything, I'm sorry that I'm um, not actually having a chat in the window because I haven't set all the chats up yet. That's actually a totally another thing. And I mean, that is a totally another setup altogether. Um, you've got to add widgets. and Because if you subscribe now, It'll actually put a little thing up on the screen, um, and it will. And sorry, you are looking at the <laughs> that. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so now we have a problem. We're running out of uh, things. I think. Yeah, I don't think we've got any of these, and I'm not going to buy any. I need to win some and get them in a container, which I have over here. Now, in this game, you get containers. Now. I'm going to show, I'm going to do something that I normally do, but it's a risk because it will pop out a suit and super container when you want. So it gives you the choice. You can either have more signals, more economic rewards, more camouflage or more coal, or you can try your luck for a super container. I'll show you what it does 90% of the time. Don't worry me because I know I'm going to get another one in 20 minutes. What the... Told me I don't have it. Just told me I had a damn container. I collected it. I didn't. What the hell is going on with this? Okay, World of Warships. You've got a problem. Got a problem. Got a problem. Got a problem. Okay, let's try our luck again. Yes. Right, right. I can. We'll get shitty container because that's what the point of taking the risk. 
You either get a big, big one, one or you get a shitty one. one. So we'll go for the sh and it's died. Something wrong with that. And it's dead. Some kind of containers isn't working. Okay, I think the game might have crashed. Has the game crashed? What? What? It's just that. We can't get out of here. We won't even get out. A lot of warships. You have an urgent problem. Fix it. And it's container problem. You get stuck on a screen. Everything. Oh, like everything that I can open opens up. I can open up group chat. And um, yeah, I was talking about our battle this now. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, okay, I've got to reboot the comment. Sorry, guys. So we're going back to the intermission because we're going to have a little intermission because of a certain problem that has occurred. Um, yeah, as you can see, that screen is dead. He's not doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. So now we go back to the intermission. All right, let you look at these pretty artworks again. Now, remember, all these artworks are going to be logo t-shirts but you can also get the logo version at a more expensive price um, because they are my artworks and um, yeah so it's a matter of um, yeah. how you want it do you want it without the logo or do you want the artwork yeah i've got to make money somehow folks god most artists don't make money, money until they're dead. So I don't plan to be like that. You want my work, you pay the price for it now. I charge $150 for my work per hour. So the price I put on my works, if you buy the paintings or the like digital works and things like that, I have to take that into account. But with the digital works, putting on T-shirts, I can sell them at a cheaper cost instead of you paying a fortune for them. Uh, let's just say a uh, two metre by two metre oil painting by me will cost you around about two million if it took you the time, it took me a whole year. And being a master artist, I can set my own prices. And I don't care if it takes ten years to sell one. I don't care. If it takes ten years, it takes ten years. I'm in no rush. Okay, it says we've got a container. So let's go and gamble Maybe the... Oh, okay. We find a got okay, a container, but it's not a super container. We asked for a, um, a gamble, so what do we get? We got flags. So yeah, I'm happy with flags. So we needed flags. We got another trophy. But yeah, this shit happens. You get crashes in the game. Everybody knows about game crashes. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody even don't know about game crashes. <laughs> Because they happen on a regular basis. You cannot escape game crashes. You really cannot escape them because they happen. Part and parcel of computers, folks. Uh, shit happens with these things. And But this is what I want. I'm finally eligible for this shit. So now I've got to earn it. I'm trying to work out how to bloody get it. Uh, so, um, yeah, the Ork Town. No, that's the, not the Ork Town, the Essex. The level 10 aircraft carrier made so much better. It's got the same stuff, just a better ship, got better protection. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, much better ship. So we'll put our way our collection while we're at it. Oh, no, the shark us. So yeah, so you've got access levels, you've got your achievements. Um, I've got to up the claim. Oh, I've earned all these, like, rank battles. What have I earned? Let's see what I've earned. I've earned Kraken Unleashed. I have earned... Oh, shit, I've earned that seven times. I have earned six high calibers. I've earned... Confederation for Confederates seven times. I've earned Dreadnought. I finally got it! That means I... Oh, no wonder I passed that. I finally got Dreadnought. 
Uh, devastating strikes um, seven times, twice double strike, uh, double strike twice once, four times first blood, uh, close quarters expert uh, two times arsonist only once. I need one more arsonist to pass a um, pass, and it's just a flesh wound. I'm still trying to work out what we get. Uh, destroy an enemy ship after your ship has been destroyed. Yeah, with torpedoes, of course. All your guns fire and things have second to be twice. I've, I've sent off the, the torpedoes on all the thing just in time and I made a killing. So, what was that one again? Oh, yeah, the arson. So, that's what I'm going to ask. That's, what I'm saying. that's tactical expertise. You've got to earn these and they're hard, trust me. You've got to do to earn those battles, especially. And I've done this, level 10, level 9, level 8, level 7, in two weeks. So anybody that says you can't do this stuff, you're wrong. You're way, way wrong. And everything's got rules inside the game, can tell you what you can have. Current season is level 6, 8 and 10. So you've got to have those to go into a rank battle, which in your rank battles are clan battles. So, um, you know, you've got the Silver League, I'm not in that one yet. Oh, you've got the Gold League, you know, that's when you're really, really, really good. But the thing is, like all the games, getting the games is one thing, but playing them is another, um, learning how to, uh, to fight, learning what to do, learning how to do this, learning how to do that. Uh, you do have to forgive me tonight, folks. I am very tired because I, will, I didn't really prepare this schedule too well. Um, and I didn't get that much sleep today. And I'm pretty sure I put this down for a four-hour stream. But I'll try and do four hours if I can. And um, because I have set those goals. And I'm pretty sure that was what my goals were on Twitch. Um, to have a stream that lasted four or four hours minimum, and which is running excellent Twitch, by the way. It's running excellent, everybody. Um, so I've got the bandwidth correctly. Um, I'm one out, one out to Bluebeard, one out to Restream, one out to there, one out to there. So, yeah, everything that is connected to uh, the thing is actually um, working. But my favourite ship is a dead set of my favourite ship. Let's have a battle in this little bloke. He's uh, a quite a deadly little ship. I haven't found any others like him. This one's got front facing torpedoes as well. And I, I do what I call the QE, where I hit a if, or I do a E, hit their hard turns. Um, and I just hit it, leave it on full blast, and I can just torpedo on everybody. Uh, that's how I got that other one. But you'll get to see that. And um, so, yeah, it's a lot of fun playing games. Yeah, it's a lot of fun streaming. There's nothing worse than sitting here, like when you're playing a game, you make the exact same moves and say the same shit that I'm saying. Ten to one. Ten to one, you say the exact same shit while you're playing the game when you're on your own no one around so I just play it do it I don't be any different than I normally am because I'm a crazy mother um, I learned how to build movie sets years ago and um, this is actually for a movie um, I don't know where, where is the thing I need OBS up this is the start of the construction of the, the movie set by the way and I haven't put you over because you are still on intermission, so I need to go back to live stream. Okay, this is going to be a movie set. And this is all my... It's, it's in construction at the moment, okay? It's all the, the storage boxes for all the bits and pieces to it. Uh, that's also where I hide my 3D printers, which are going to be part of the movie set for reconstruction little robot I built up at the top that's only a cheapo learning about that um, type of armature but it sort of um, yeah this here is the view screen this is what I look at you and talk to you on 
It's a 65 inch high sense screen. It's bloody excellent. And then oh, I've got another one. See, another view screen, all part of the movie set, but it's eventually going to be my streaming set. So after the movie, it might not get pulled down. It might stay here. Um, and I might just jazz it up because once I've got all the flats up, you can do anything to a flat. You can change the scene, you can turn it into a house. But um, for now, yeah. And we're back into it! Here we go, we're going again, folks. We're going, to, going into battle once more. And um, before it jumps off, I want to do something. We want to go into this one this time. I'll let the music here. I think this one adds a bit. Tessie! No, that sounds like shit. I'll say well, this is a gas mask. Yeah, testing. Testing! One, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Right. Go D, boys. So I might stick in D, eh? And then I can get my. Get that going. There. Okay, so now off. What the hell was that? <laughs> Well, I must always think where we're going. We're going to go here. We're going to hide right in there and wait until we can see someone in that area. So we're going to hide where they can't see us. So we're going to put you on the torps. Hang on, that's in there. Take a bad angle. We're going to come in like that. There, wrong button. There. We're going to sit right there. So we need to start firing, by the way. Here we go. Problem is, my reload on this ship is shit. I just realised what I was in. Oh no, I'm in the sea. I'm in the sea, yeah. Shit. No, I'm in the good ship. In the good ship, we love you, boy. It makes the best way to shoot a ship. And there we go. Oops, we need to go. Q, we're doing a QE. Q, Q, Q. Q. Ah, he took the hit for me! Ah, twice! He took the hit! Now you watch this. Oh, now I can get the torps out. Oh, man. Shit, where did he go? Where did he go? What's going on with this? Why am I not chasing him? What's going on? There we go. There he is. Whoops. Where are you? Oh, torch. Ah, oh, where's the torch? Oh, I'm going to take a kill the torch. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> That's why it's not working. <laughs> I didn't see that bit. You killed me while I was trying to shoot off the thing. So that rubbing incident that they've warned us about, folks, is in full swing because that just happened to me. I got rubbed, he got shot, and I got blown up because he got hurt. So don't rub anybody. Uh, yeah, no, it's sort of strange. Yeah, I know. We can be. I don't have enough that is actually working. So what are we? Really, sorry. We're gonna go up in here. 
they turn that down. Don't need that there. Okay, so. And we've jumped over the wrong window. We want this window. Well, I don't know what this is sounding like. So, where are we? What's going on with the controls? Yeah, action. So, we'll see it manual for now. And we're going to do a nice leisurely cruise. Start killing shit with torpedoes. <laughs> Got the most torpedoes on, I can always do a turn and stuff like that. But we do have four aces, so we can take shots that other ships can't take. She is a nasty little shit. Really is. Yeah. <laughs> deep voice. Oh, Captain. Yeah. I can't hold it together, Captain. I don't know what I can do. <laughs> and we're off. Okay, hang on, mate. What have we done? No, I didn't see the guy. I oh, know, that's right. It's still on the turn. So they say never leave your side exposed. But if you're in one of these. You want your side exposed. You get one torpedo there, you get one torpedo there, and you get two there. They're, and by the way, they're the same ones. That's sort of same, same torpedoes for everything. So, two on each side. I think it's two, two or three. Too far away. And well, we're there now, gun range. And he's too big to mess with. So, this is called a hunting cruise. We're looking for the ones that we can kill in a heartbeat without major protection. <laughs> well, it's a battle. They're not acting like they should, so I've got to be the best that I can. Be the best that you can be. Oh, hell. Um, actually, we've got someone in range. Oh, any second now, he's going to be in range. Where is he? 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 I think he's in there, is he? <laughs> yeah, he's in the smoke. He's in the smoke. So what I'm going to do... One... Two... Spin. This is what I call the E or the Q. At high speed, you can put so many torpedoes. Yeah, so you only get two on the side, so you can shoot them out of any side. So now, hopefully they bring him out, but there's a good reload time on these. So if I leave that like that, I'm just going to do circles. And uh, while I reload, and already, yeah, see the torpedoes made him come out. So now we're reloaded. And we're sending more. And I think we just killed him. Yep, see? I just shot it out and had fun. And all I'm doing is doing a circle. <laughs> it's a good tip. It's a good ship, Z-170, a good ship, Z-170, <laughs> I told you I was a crazy bastard. <laughs> Alright, so let's go back to there, 
Where are we? We're going. Oh, they're bad. We're going after him. We're going after this dude first. So we're going to do a Yui. What? Battleship, which we're gonna drop to Peter's as soon as we see him now. Now we do the E again, we get as many torpedoes into him as we can. You gotta think about distance. So now we're just gonna do a little E. I mean, she's coming to our turn, and while it's still on the end of the and we're reloading, yeah, we still have guns. Can I get him on the siddle now? Give us a kill. Eh, no, we didn't get the kill, but what the hell. Alright, so what are we looking at now? So we're fully reloaded on our torpedoes. Let's go elsewhere. Let's go up the back. Let's go behind enemy lines. That's enemy lines. That's enemy lines. So there we go up there. Right, full. We're going to give it a burst because we want to be as quick as we can going up here. So we're going to be booster. Oh, what a pity he died. So it told this nasty little shit. <laughs> I mean, this is nasty. The only problem is I need to train this captain better. He's a shit stealer. <laughs> but yeah, I haven't trained him up yet. Nah, so, yeah. So, um, yeah, see what I mean? Like he's turned into the island, turned away from the island. But, um, what's that one up here? Is that a well, we've only got two left. In that case, we're changing our destination to B6. B6, you're a winner today. Not. Yeah, not to die. <laughs> I is coming after you. That's how I do it. Yeah, left windows to go back to clean. So this works better with the clean. Still not much, but he knows we're coming after him. Oh, 
I'm in the, I'm in the trees that left behind. Wow. Man, told you it's a tough little ship, didn't I? Yeah, it wasn't a joke. Now, where is it? Let's zoom in. We're going to be zoomed in on the moment we see him. There, and we shoot this. Different ways to do this, like now we hit him in the middle, the midsection. And hopefully we can kill him. We need torpedoes. And, oh, what a thing we need to do to die. A little Kiwi. Okay, some turns. Nasty dude, I'm gonna be nasty too. So now I'm coming head on at you with my guns. See, I like this ship a lot. I like all my ships. And we just, I think, completed task four. No, task four is still going. So we're going to battle on, have a bit more fun. And yeah, so this is when we get to chat normally. And I, like, I know I'm actually streaming to no one on kick. Absolutely no one. But I know that live stream, I'm going to go and turn it into a video. I'm going to do the same on every channel. I'll make sure they get brought across the videos I'm even doing it sorry in Twitch so that you guys can see what one of the shows are like what I'm going to be like uh, when I come and do the private shows on those channels for those channels but what I'm doing is I'm actually thinking about doing the shows for all the channels doing different things if i do a diy show i might do that because i did have i do have a diy channel and i'm thinking about being having the ability once i work it out because uh, it's going to cost me my first goal is 500 dollars okay in donations you can donate to the links which will be in there soon and um because of the simple fact that by donating to that particular fund means I get to stream to all more channels and get this out there so um, yeah as you can see it's not a bad show like I'm on Trovo Trovo's going to be on the next stream like that is when I start pushing it to the thing and I do need to lower my um, I'm going to lower my bit rate no matter what Twitch is I'm going to lower it down to 5000 that way it gives me two more channels because I've got over 35,000 uh, bit rate. So divide that gives me seven channels. So I can stream seven channels. But all I really need to do is stream to um, restream and then use that. Then I can stream to every single one of my channels. Every single one can get the gun, get the show, the the Blue Beat Gaming Show. Uh, everyone can get the Truth Show or the Daily Dose Show and everything. So that all my channels, I can build them up because I've got to build them all up and I don't have time to do separate streams on them. But at the moment, I'm just trying to rebuild subs because some of them lost subs when I got when I had my stroke. I lost a lot of people. And I'm, I really did. I went from 18,000 on one channel down to 16 in two weeks because you don't stream you don't you because streaming is a different setup to just dropping videos streaming you want to um, stream very regularly because if you don't stream regularly and everything then yeah you lose your stream uh, your live stream people the, the video people will still be there they're still with me because they see everything afterwards 
but I lose the ones that have been faithful for live streaming. And um, so it's going to be a slog to build every channel back up. My health over the last couple of years, as I've told everybody in the last few streams, has not been the best. And uh, it was because of a drug called metropolol. And that drug called metropolol was a bit of a nightmare. And why is that saying that when I... And all my videos are wrong. I've got the wrong stuff. Um, I'm going to have to do a bit of work. I'm going to play this game, folks. Then I'm actually going to end the stream. I will come back. There is something I must fix. So um, I'm seeing it now, and it's in the names, because the names aren't being updated on the channels. So, um, yeah, I forgot to do that part of it. So we're going to hunt... God, there's mainly this... God, there's mainly this choice. I'm the one like the battleship and the whole bloody fleet. And I can't even see it. I'm looking for him. He's hiding. He's hiding. He knows he's got the fruit. Now we hunt. They're all in range. These are the blokes I want over here. So we're going over here. We're going over here. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump this through, and we're doing that. We're going to do an E turn, this time. And we're going to do a hard spin on Q, just to get one more torpedo in the mix. While the others are reloading. I think we killed it. Oh, we did. Oh, I don't know. Was it me that got him? Someone got him. He was in there. I don't know that much. Now, I'm going to do a keep the E the Q going. Oh, we reload. Q will get you out of trouble a lot of the time. We've got steering issues. Come on, come on, stay there, stay there, stay there. Now, go that way. Oh, we're going to do another, another kill job. We'll do another Q. So if you're heading for something, yeah, and you need to get out of it quick, Q and E will save your life. So now we're going to the guns. Didn't get the key quick enough. I'm going to have to train up that torpedo detection on this little boat. Yeah, it's just a skill. Um, my torpedo protection on this isn't that good at the moment. So, um, has he earned any points? He must have earned some points right now, or I must have earned points to put it in. And we had one point, so we're going to train a basic skill. And like I tell everybody, you should always, always. There's a warning about salvo fire to the view from all the distance of five kilometers. Uh, reduces the risk of main turret sonar torpedo tube steering and engine becoming incapacitated. So yeah, we're going to master that skill until we get the other ones that we need. They're in there. They're somewhere down here in the bottom. So yeah, it's uh, when you get the skills and you're trying to train up certain commanders, do it. So let's go and um, I don't know if what scores are we at. Let's have a look at our scores. So oh, we've got a victory on that one. Is that the latest one? Uh, that is it. Yeah. Ah, okay. 
So we're back again, fighting. So yeah, enjoy your channel while you're streaming. Enjoy it. The look at the audience that you're trying to get. Like I'm trying to get everybody. Right? I'm old. We have a tendency and ability to talk to everybody. Young kids, yeah. You stop, stop talking, talking so fast. fast. Because when you're talking so fast, no one can hear you. I can understand you. So slow down a bit, please. You notice my voice is always slow. First thing you learn in selling, keep it slow. Because you are putting a message into their head that you want them to remember. But when you're talking, okay, if you do this and you do that, that's different. That's being entertaining, but when you're talking like this and you're just getting and it sound like an auctioneer, no one can understand you. No one can understand auctioneers. There's no sense in talking fast. So yeah. See, life, yeah, you're going to come into major problems. You really are. You really are. But I'm going to show you the joy to key in a minute and um, have a bit of a break from the game. Um, because, yeah, games can do it. And when I play games, it's generally when I'm working. Generally, all the time, when I'm working, I'm playing games. But I'm playing the games when I take breaks, when the, the artwork gets to me, and it does on a regular basis, very regular basis. I sit down and have a game, uh, anything, no matter what, to relax. And one of the best things you can do. Oh, I know it's yawning and you're all yawning now that you're watching this, but yeah, it's um, so much better, but okay, it says that we're still streaming to Bluebeard, the original, but why is it not? Oh, okay. Oh, damn it, I didn't get the invitation, we went straight into vision. Damn. Sorry. Whoever it is, they've seen me in action. They want to fight. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I missed the invitation. Uh, hang on. This section, guys, everybody. No matter what you do, you can't do shit about it. And yeah, just that. it's all about having fun, talking, acting. See, I'm an ex-salesman. Uh, ex-salesman, advertising guru, by the way. You want any advertising advice? Ask me. But, uh, I turned the seediest nightclub on the Gold Coast into the number one night spot in one week. I don't know, I forget what that show is called there, that uh, bloody movie star, he's, uh, he's not even there dude, he's over there. Oh, and we can't shoot him because he's just out of range. But we'll be able to torpedo him any second. Hello, what are you doing over there? Uh, you're not in quite range yet. There you are. And as we've got one left, we're coming for you. Bum, 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 bum. He didn't get sunk on my torpedo like that. I oh, know he got sunk on that torpedo. Uh -oh. So now we're hitting the reduce. We're going hunting. We're going hunting. Hello? What are you doing down there? Oh, my guns are out. Oh, shit. My guns are out. 
That's the only thing about this game, they can disable your guns, they can disable everything. So if you're not careful, you will lose your ship. What's the distance? Six kilometres, you're gone. Hello, what are you doing over there, mate? Have a torpedo or two on me, eh? You want a couple of torpedoes? Yeah, get ready for them. Dodge these. Because I get more and I get more. And now I'm coming at you this way and I'm going to ram you. Nah, I'm not ramming you. It's too late for torpedoes. It's fucking way too late for torpedoes. This is the only thing I can do. He's concentrating on the other ship, so I'm getting left behind. But we're going after him. We're going after him because we're going to have torpedoes any second. So we are back with torpedo hunt again. Where, 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 where? Oh, shit, 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 shit. And we missed it. Oh, beautiful. Oh, seriously. I don't know that song. <laughs> yeah, I know it's on fucking fire. I can see it. I can see it. Oh, shite. Okay, we're going to have to charge this one. It's a little bloody destroyer. And we've got torpedoes again, so you're up Sheets Creek. I've got guns, and I've got torpedoes. I hate that damn thing. I'm trying to bloody zoom. Damn. All right, we're going to this boat. Turn, turn, turn. He's now in distance. Put a couple of shots into him. Drop him into the trios. Now, one. Oops, no. Oops, okay. We're going to zoom around them. We're going to miss the torpedoes. Do a dance. Get that torpedo underway. Run it down. Do another dance. Do we sink anybody after all? Oh, is it going to hit? Are they going to hit? Oh, please hit. No, damn it. Is that one going to hit? No, he's going to miss that one a mile away. Oh, no, it hit. Cool, I've got a strike. <laughs> oh, let's do it again. Let's do it again, folks. Let's do it again. Oh, that hurt. So yeah, the Z-170, if you like, destroyers, is a good destroyer. It's a German destroyer. I um, strongly advise you to get it. Um, everybody should own this ship. <laughs> it's dangerous. So yeah, it doesn't have very good points, and I think we're out of bonuses. Yep, out of bonus. Oh, no, we're not, we're not. We've got one left. Might as well use it. But use them while you've got them. Because you don't always have... We'll always have... If we've got the deployed one, we'll always use that. So we're going to get back. I'm going to battle on in this little ship. I oh, know I said I was going to have a break, but... Oh, I'm... Ah, yeah, in a gaming mood, folks. I really, truly am. That sort of... But going back to... Um, yeah, crap. Yeah. You get the crap in this way. Uh, so you've got to talk about something, so why not talk about anything? There's so many subjects in this world that you can talk about. 
We can talk about the crap that's going on in America that Biden's putting Trump through, which is ridiculous. If that happened in our country, he'd be in fucking jail in a heartbeat. He would. Biden would be in a jail in this country. If he tried in that in this country, he'd be in jail in a dead set heartbeat. So come to Australia, Biden, and try and run for politics. Yeah, somebody will put you in prison where you belong. Yes, I don't like Biden, OK? I think he's an idiot. You've got dementia, shouldn't even be Prime Minister. Uh, president, yeah. Prime Minister, President, for all the fucking sake. Uh, where are we? We are going to do a search for the best possible ship to destroy. So we're going up there. Um, uh, we're going to go up there first, look up there first, and then we're going up there, look over there, and no, we go up there. No. We've got to change it. We'll go there, and then we go up there, guaranteed we get, we're guaranteed to get in a fight on that path. So, and that's what it's all about, getting in the fight. So everything starts out correct, the way a battle should go, the cruisers take off, the destroyers take off, stick together. But then the big ones, they just sit back, and that's how it should be. They need to be at a range. When I'm in a, in a battleship, I'm at a range that I can hit people without being hit by most of the lilies, but I still can hit the big boats. Okay, uh, cruiser, whoa. See, first shot, you watch. No, he's better. Oh, he's on, he's, got, he's using his uh, high speed. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, now we're in. Oh shit, 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 shit. That's not good, that's not good at all. That's why I leave it on autopilot so I can fucking shoot the shit. So now, I've got to shoot to protect myself because I am a target, big target, right now. I can't use my four pieces. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, now you're walking into it, aren't you? Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh, I'm really, really dead. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. Ah, damn it. Lucky shot. No, that's why you use autopilot. Because that happens all the time. I'm just going to see what the last battle was, what we got for it. Uh, we got a good feet, but we didn't put much shit on anything else. So if you want your stats, what your battles that you're playing since you started in the ship, you jump here, it tells you the battles, you have two victories and one defeat in it. Um, yeah, and you can go further, you can look at um, ship servicing costs, um, you can look at, uh, yeah, the messages, you get these little radio messages, and it tells you, ooh, I should have know about that one, I didn't see that one. Alright, so we need to look at our flags, because our flags are in the way out in the sense of just spags of the dummy. So to go to the next level, okay, no, that's the aircraft carrier, we've already got that. And the VT, I think we've got the VT paid for it. Do we have the VT? That it does, yeah, I think we do. Yeah, the VT, we've got the VT. 
Um, but it's torpedoes are very different. It doesn't have forward facing torpedoes. So you can't hear. played much on that one yet so but what I am going to do I really do need to fix this problem whether I like it or not so bear with me I'm coming back okay so yeah just bear with me I will be back in about 10 20 minutes so if you are watching yeah stick around I am coming back because I want to add Trovo to the list and I want to uh, just check on what happened to Bluebeard original channel so because it's not it doesn't seem to be streaming to it anymore, but it, yet it says that it is. So whether it started a new stream or what it's done, I don't know. So, um, yeah, there is a bit of a drama with it, so I'm still trying to work out what's going on. This is why I'm, uh, yeah, saved it as a video, so it's gone to video already, half an hour. But anyhow, I'm going to call it quits for a while. I'm going to let OBS save everything because that's another thing that takes time to save movies and everything so I can put them up online later. So anyhow, I'm going to call this stream an end. I'm going to quickly work on the channels and then I'm going to be back again once I've loaded up uh, Trovo as well. So no worries. And, uh, but you are getting the genuine show. So pretty much, yeah, I haven't brought the characters in yet because unfortunately avatars take a little bit of time to make. Costumes uh, take a little bit of time to find, so it's just pretty much me just starting out and trying to get everything working, but at the same time playing the game and putting a show on, and that's what it's about, it's about putting a show on, so thank you for coming along, I do appreciate it, don't forget to like and subscribe, if you don't subscribe and click that little bell, you're not going to get notified guys, so click the little bell and everything, and I'm trying to work out what I can do, and trust me, I've got, yeah, no, hardly any followers on uh, Twitch at the moment because Twitch has been a neglected channel for many years. But because of the fact of the stroke. So I'm setting a million subscriber for Twitch goal, actually. I'm going to try and uh, secure a package from some game company and see if we can do something. And, um, but, yeah, they do these sort of things. But, yeah, even if I have to look at it, look at the cost of it and everything I might pay for a D10 ship or something I don't know for a million subscriber I'll put it up as a thing I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do I've decided what game I'm going to do uh, what prize it's going to be for um, so I do plan to do a million subscriber um, thing where people that are subbed and can only be current subs you, if you're not currently subbed, you are not. And if it's not, not a million subs at the time of the draw, you don't get in the draw. So it'll go through the subscriber list, it'll draw the people from the subscriber list, and then uh, give us a winner. And um, so I think about it and everything, and I'm trying to come up with some smaller prizes, maybe a T-shirt or something like that, because someone that's not so lucky. Um, but yeah, I'm going to make the millionth um, subscriber show a big thing. Sorry, follower show. Um, and I might even do it on YouTube as well. So um, for the YouTube 